Welcome back to the dungeon. The tea cap dungeon. Jason Shopner is watching a skip tracer video. Forgot about this guy. Thought it might be interesting, you know? He had a good segment and he looks very sad at the end and uh, NBC kind of dissed him with the feet thing, so I thought this was just perfect. Let me suck that toe that hit that banister, babe. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dell didn't use it on him. She just said, like, come on in or something. So, but still, it's in the in the theme of TCAP and this man's feet fetish. Uh, got a nice little immersion package here for you guys. So his uh, username is J107296 zero. I was curious if those numbers actually meant anything since it didn't seem like a birthday or anything. Uh, put that into the old system here and. They're actually a, uh, a FIPS code, which is some federal number system for like how they chop up states, and which I assume is all about EMS, right? Because he was a firefighter EMS guy. Um, so if they get a call like in a certain township, they probably assign it to what, you know whatever uh, fire station s serves that uh, FIPS code area. So. 72960, Summerford Township, as you can see right here. This is the Summerford Township. Uh, he lives in Mechanicsburg, so just everything's just totally aligning. It's, you know, facts, just straight facts. It's real. Um, perverted Justice Commentary, they're like, oh, he was a fast mover, another fast mover here. It's a short chat log. We'll bang this one out real quick. Uh, he ruined his life in one hour and nine minutes online, and then as you can see, Basically, you know, one hour, 19 minutes to, <laughs> to ruin it again. So he's, he's uh, destroyed his whole life and future moving forward in about, uh, about three hours, probably. Assuming he left his house to head to the trap house immediately. And let us dive deeper into the immersion. 11.05 a.m. They don't list the dates, but this is the Greenville, Ohio sting, and as we just saw with Mr. Meat Rockets, that so that was went down uh, three twenty four through twenty six of two thousand and six. Um, not exactly sure which day, but he ruined his life all in one day. So you know, maybe a Friday, maybe a Saturday, even a Sunday, possibly. So let us begin. Eleven oh five a.m. Hi, hi, ASL. Twenty one, male, Ohio. Thirteen, female, Ohio. Cool. What are you up to? Chatting. Fun. I guess. There's a pic in my profile. Oh, cool. You're a fireman? Yep. BRBK. Oh, you, you know what that was? That was uh, the decoy. Like, oh, shit. I think, you know, I got a government official over here. Let's uh, let's be careful. Let's try to reel them in. Or, you know, surely, uh, you know, at least expose them after the fact, maybe, you know, because those are supposed to be some pre trusted positions and stuff. So, wow. Okay. Back. Okay. I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Kat. Nice to meet you, sweetie. Oh, okay. yeah. And, yeah, like, a, you know, just like Meat Rocket, they got to go hard because this thing is actively going down on these days. So they got to go hard. I think firemen are hot. Oh, there's a nail by the decoy. <laughs> Too bad you're 13. Oh, just one more little immersion thing. I saw some of the earlier chats. I saw a commentary that said if it's if a line's blank like this, then uh, it was like a smiley emote or something, and it, it just I don't know doesn't translate back into text or or something like that. I saw that somewhere, so maybe that's what's happening. So he might have done like a little a little uh not like an emoticon, like where it actually converts it into like an emoji looking face. Maybe that's what happened. Let us continue. Oh, my last beef was twenty. Yeah, no. Well, you're a cutie. Thanks. I don't know which one is you. Middle right. Oh, I see you now. <gasps> you're a hottie. Oh, <laughs> this man is definitely not. A... Hey. Wow. Decoy is in the lead. That's two nails in the decoy. <laughs> my goodness. He's trying hard. Oh, my God. He is not hot. And I think he's even shorter than Jay. I think he... this guy's 5'4", if I recall. I'll have to check that again. Meaning what? You're hot. No, other thoughts about me. Oh, he's trying to lead her to... Yeah, and now, okay, now the decoy's got like, oh, shit, I don't want to trap him. Let me back it up. Well, I don't know, maybe. Like, sorry, I'm just horny. 
Oh, I don't know. My dad is going to Jamaica for the weekend, and I'm all by myself. Have a camera more pics? My space is on my profile. I saw. You're staying by yourself? Yeah. How do I know you're not a cop, lol? Mm, I'm not a cop. How do I prove it? Call my cell and leave a sexy message. I could do that. Oh, unredacted. 614-425-8079. What's your name again? Jason. What do you want me to say? Something to turn me on. Mm, okay, I don't know what to say. Just call and say hi then. Or just call and say ho then. <laughs> hi. How about firemen are sexy, lol? Okay. 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 <laughs> I think that, send send what you told me to. That's sexy. Thanks. What did your dad say about you dating a twenty-year-old? Let me just stop here because I saw Perta just actually has a recording. I wonder if she actually told me he's all sexy and stuff. Let me check that out real quick. Ah, oh, the link didn't work. I'd have to go find it on the Temple of Teacap, I'm sure. Hopefully someone's backing up all of Perverted Justice. I don't want to have to send there and try to download every chat log just so I can have it for posterity in case it disappears again. All right, no recording that I could find easily. Let's continue. What did your dad say about you dating a 20-year-old? He did not car. Oh, care. He did not care. So where would you guys go to hang out? My house and his house. Cool. So what do you want to know? Why you would not answer the phone when I called? Just wanted to make sure it was you, lol. What? Oh, that's a cringe by the predator. He tells her to call, then he pussies out. Oh my god. That is a big old cringe on this guy. Okay. What else do you want to know? You there? Okay, that was like one minute, two minutes. She comes back, yeah, 40 seconds later. I don't know. I need something to eat. BRB. Okay. Back. I wonder if she was checking, like, he's not really doing much. Like, to get, <laughs> you know, she's, you know, Dell's running across the across the yard to the, the trap house RV thing or whatever, you know, like, is this enough? Like, do we have enough? He told her, a child, to come call him sexy fireman on the phone and stuff. And they're like, no, we need more. And she's like, fuck, okay. Back. <laughs> So what kind of guys you like? Oh, she's blowing smoke up his ass. Hot fireman ones. Okay, what else is sexy to you? Tats. Oh, oh my God. I have two inside my arm. Will you kiss them for me? <laughs> oh, we're going to put a nail and a cringe on that. Yeah. What about on the lips? Oh. Yeah. I love to kiss. Oh, no. The Rabbi David K emerges again. Dude, I swear to God, every predator is cross-referenced. They're all linked, man. I like to kiss. I like to suck. I like to be sucked. I like to kiss. Oh, that was the Rabbi David K. Oh, God. I love to kiss. Me too. Really? What else? I don't know. Whatever you wanted to do. Well, what have you done? Everything. Well, not everything, but a lot of stuff. Well, what did you like? From behind. Oh, my God. Decoy. Oh, no, you're 13. <laughs> That's the only one I had it, though. That's the only way I had it, though. Oh, Jesus. Like being eaten? <laughs> you paint your toes? Hello? <laughs> Never been eaten. <laughs> I'll do that. Want me to rub your feet? Yeah, when? Mmm. Now I'm getting turned on. Oh, we're gonna cringe on that. Not to kink shame. I'm not kink shaming, but it's still it's it's a little it's a little further out there. It's not. I don't think it's fully acceptable <laughs> or accepted. Mm, okay. You don't like that? I asked you when you were gonna do that stuff to me, and you said you were getting turned on. Any time. Made no sense. Oh. Spelling a sense like that, nice. I'll do, I'll do it any time, sweetie. My dad is gone this weekend. When he leaving? He's gone. <laughs> when will he leave? He is gone. I told you. Right now? Yes. <laughs> oh God. I work tonight till 6 a.m. Okay. 
I'm off tomorrow. Really? Yes. I could come up tomorrow morning. How far are you from me? Where are you at? Greenville. Really? Yeah. I work near there around Dayton. How far is that? 30 minutes. So how about 12? I'm off at 6 a.m. Want me to kiss your toes? 6 a.m.? Yeah. The housekeeper gets here at 7 and works till 11. That's why I want to make sure she's gone. Jesus. My God, you have a housekeeper working for four hours in your mansion? Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, so this is... Okay, she's she, uh, bracketing. Bracketing in the words of Zoe. I, she's trying to bracket him in. Interesting. So I guess he didn't ruin his life all in one day. I mean, he only chatted for an hour, made plans, and just fucking showed up the next day, apparently. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, okay. So you want me to kiss your toes? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that gagrinous uh, fucking bleeding, the nails falling off. He'd still suck it. Oh, God. Save, got to save Dell. EMS, EMS Jason here, come in. Oh, my God, she's got a bleeding toe. Let me shove it in my throat. God. Yeah, you gonna come at 12? Um, there's another nail for the decoy. Now she's spelling it like come. Oh, my God. And, of course, he obliges. Yes, where should I come at? To my house. Yeah, but where should I come when I get there oh god that's a cringe and a nail why don't you come today i have to work at six i can stop by you can come now oh my god dude this is just horrendous from the decoys trying so hard i wonder if this is this this must be saturday and she's trying to at least get him in you know uh saturday evening or or sunday the last day of the sting that's why she's coming in her pants here jesus christ Look how much cum. There's cum everywhere. Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm reading ahead. Let me shut up. Yeah, but where should I come when I get there? Why don't you come today? I have to work at 6. I can stop by. You can come now. Give me your address. Are you coming now? You mean my body cum or coming over to you? Oh, God. To my house. <laughs> I can't. What's the address? How long will you be there? What will, will you be here? One hour, 40 minutes. Okay, a little bit of traffic here. We saw right, you know, it's, okay. Thought you said like 30 minutes. Hello? From where I work. Oh, so you're going to come here, then go work tonight? Yes. You like hearing guys moan? Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. What? <laughs> You want to hear me? I'm hard now. I'm on the phone. Well, get off, lol. Or give me your address. I'll leave in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so you'll be here in like two hours? Yeah, like four. Okay. Edit Addie. <laughs> in Greenville. What will you be driving? Edit Addie. Yeah, like edit Addie. What? Yeah, that's the Addie. Redacted address again. In the city? Kind of country. Okay, don't you want to hear me moan? I will hear yo when you get here, lol. Get ready and come here. Well, why don't she throw in the C-U-M on him? Okay, call me when you're off, and we'll talk on the way. Oh, God, she's getting... <laughs> what a cringe. She's trying to keep the child on the phone for two hours while he's driving in. Imagine how that call goes. What, in the first 30 seconds, there's just dead air? Like, oh, you got 10 toes? Oh, yeah, baby, I'm going to suck all of them. All of 10, one by one. Like, what the fuck, dude? No, you, I will make you moan when you get here. Yeah, she doesn't want to do it. Okay, I'll call you in a bit. My phone does not receive incoming calls. You have to have a code. My dad set it up that way. Okay, call it three. Okay. I think that's another smiley face missing. KK. I'm excited. 614-425-8079. What? Oh, excited? Me too. Smiley face. Got it. Oh, 
no, I wanted more toes and stuff in here. God damn it. Well, I like the immersion. I think that was a cool little turn back the time and geography and stuff. We'll keep it in here. Don't worry. I'm going to get to Lauren. I just wanted to... Just a nice little palate cleanser. I need them to get through, you know, these last days on Lauren have been so brutal. Day 16 was horrendous. But I'll probably do that one later tonight. Adios. And farewell.